Hi students, how are you all there? I am your Cheku Vijay from Pusa Trishan Rakan. Thank you for tuning in again into the second part of the chapter Reproduction. Today I am going to go through with you in greater length about the two types of reproduction. Yes, that's right. I promised you in the previous lesson, right? Which is sexual reproduction and asexual reproduction. I hope you will stay until to the end so that you can benefit from what I'm going to give you your students. Now, students, there are many of you all who complain that science is very difficult. Yes, I commonly hear this. Why? Because you say that science is a factual subject. You need to memorize. No, students, please take that thought out of your mind. Who says science has to be a subject of memorizing? No, it is a matter of understanding. If you look into my first video on this chapter of reproduction, you will see that I've given you in a very simpler way to understand science. And I have given you in a mind map form. That is the way that you should study science students. This is how I teach my students. And that's why many of them who come to me from a failing category, they have pushed themselves up to getting A's. That's true. Please watch my YouTube where many of my students have given great testimonies. Now, those are real testimonies here. It's not pre-planned. It is very spontaneous and they tell through their own experience how they have felt after attending my classes. Alright, I don't want to take much of your time. Let's straight go to this chapter now, alright? Okay, students, as I mentioned to you in the previous lesson, reproduction is broken into two parts. Yeah, that is what? Sexual reproduction and asexual reproduction. Now we are going to see what are the differences between sexual reproduction and asexual reproduction, right? Now I will go through the sexual first, then we see how asexual is just the right opposite of sexual, right? Okay, sexual reproduction only involves, involves one individual, one individual. Can you see that now, students? Alright? When I mention one individual, that means there are no sex involved here. No sex involved. Okay? No sex involved. That means there is no male, there is no female. That is what I mean here. Alright? And it is only one individual. Okay? Now, number three, because there is no male or no female, therefore, there is no, yeah, there is no specific reproductive organ which are involved. No specific reproductive organ. So, no specific reproductive, reproductive organs. Okay? No specific, see, yeah, no specific reproductive organs all right yes uh, sorry this is s yes correct no specific reproductive organ so there are no specific repro reproductive organs involved in sexual sorry in oh forgive me this is supposed to be asexual yeah let's correct that yeah this is supposed to be asexual and let's put this as sexual yeah that's correct so again i repeat myself asexual reproductive there is no more than one cell, meaning that there is only one cell. So I repeat, it involves one individual only, one individual. Number two, there are no sex involved. That means there is no male, there is no female. Number three, there is no specific, no specific um, reproductive organs. Alright? Number four students, number four, okay? There are no gametes. No gametes involved in asexual reproduction. No gametes are involved. Okay? No gametes. What does it mean by no gametes? Gametes means what students? Yes, I hear some of you all saying it. Very good. Reproductive cell. Gametes means reproductive cells. Can you see that or not? Reproductive cells. So there are no reproductive cells involved in asexual reprodu reproduction. Number five students, asexual reproduction, the 
parent cell and the daughter cell are identical. Okay? Identical. What does identical here mean? No variation. No vari variation. No variation means that parent and the daughter cell are identical. No variation. So this is basically the characteristics of asexual reproduction. Let me run through that again with you. Yeah. Number one, there is only one individual involved in asexual reproduction. Number two, there is no male or female, means that no sexes. Number three, there is no specific organs involved. Number four, specific organ means specific reproductive organs, yeah? Number four, there is no, as you can see here, I pointed out, number four, there is no gametes, alright? What does gametes mean? Reproductive cell, there is no gametes involved. Number five, there is no variation, means that the mother cell, or we call it the parent cell, and the daughter cell are identical. I must add another point here, yes, right? When I mention there are no, no reproductive cells or gametes involved, right? What does that mean? This means that there is no fertilization. Yes, there is no fertilization in asexual reproduction. Got it, students? Now, another very important point that you must take note of is that asexual reproduction is the base is the base for for growth. Yes, is the base for growth in in simpler form of organisms or we call it as my unicellular organisms. Many unicellular organisms carry out asexual reproduction. Got it today? In other words, low category or low level organisms. So, asexual reproduction basically happens in low level organisms. Low level organisms. Can you see that or not? Alright? Now, in your syllabus, you need to know five types of asexual reproduction. What are those five types of asexual reproduction? I will quickly write it down here for you. Alright? Five types of asexual reproduction. What are those five types of asexual reproduction? Number one is binary fission. Number two will be spore formation. Oh, okay. Let's uh, erase this off here. Alright. Okay, spore formation. Okay. Number three would be, um, yeah, I hear some of you say, very good, buddy, wonderful. Number four would be vegetative reproduction. And lastly, number five would be regeneration or rejuvenation. So, there are five types of asexual reproduction. Number one would be binary fusion. Number two will be spore formation. Number three will be budding. Number four will be vegetative reproduction. And number five will be, yes, that's right, which is regeneration or rejuvenation. Now, I will go through one by one in my next videos. But I just quickly want to give you the opposite of asexual reproduction. I've just went through with you about asexual reproduction. The opposite of it is sexual reproduction. Okay, is right? So, if you remember all the points for asexual reproduction, then the opposite, the reverse will be for sexual reproduction. What do I mean? I mean that if asexual reproduction only involves one individual, so here sexual reproduction involves two individuals. Got it, correct? Easy, isn't it, correct? Next. If asexual reproduction involves no sex, that means there is no sex involved, no male, no female. That means for sexual reproduction involves involves male and 
female two opposite sexes can you see that right all right number 3 if asexual reproduction there is no specific reproductive organ then in sexual reproduction there are specific reproductive organs involved all right which are which are for male we call it as testis all right for female we call it as ova ovary now this is for animal students this is for animal where else for plants for plants we call it as um enter enter the male reproductive organ is called as enter and the female reproductive organ is still called as ova ovary it's the same all right only the difference is for male can you see that students now next if if for asexual reproduction there is no gametes involved then for sexual reproduction involves gametes involves gametes all right remember so what did i say gamete gamete means what reproductive cells okay reproductive cells and reproductive organs are different so for the male reproductive cell we call it as sperm that's right sperm and female reproductive cell we call it as yes i hear some of you are saying ovum we call it as what ovum but i must tell you that for this is for animals this is for animals that for plants yeah for plants the male reproductive cell is known as pollen grain pollen grain the female reproductive cell is known as ovule the female reproductive cell is called as ovule got it students so the terms are slightly different you got to know the terms yeah and lastly number 5 students number 5 yes in in sexual reproduction there is difference meaning that both parent and daughter cells are not identical means what there is variation has variation involves variation right students so sexual reproduction the mother cell and the daughter cell are different from each other means there is varia variation means that they are not identical right students and lastly students remember sexual reproduction occurs in higher level organisms got it students what does higher level organisms means it means that organisms which are more complex mainly it sexual reproduction happens in higher level organisms mainly got it students so this is the simple explanation about sexual and asexual reproduction i hope my explanation has benefited you students if you would like to attend for my extra tutorial classes i have it every weekend you could do so in order for you to come into my class and learn about this chapter in further detail it will be good i would like to have you in my class and you could benefit from my teaching because i do make science simple and easy to understand all right sir so if you would like to know more about what we do at pusat vision rakan please go to our website at www dot rakan r a k a n dot e d u dot mart or contact us at zero one two six eight zero five nine zero zero. I hope you would tell about this video uh, to your friends and ask them to also come and view so that they can enjoy and benefit from my teaching too. Remember, students, care sharing is caring. The reason why I'm doing this video is to try. and help many out there in order for them to understand science in a more better manner all right students so i hope you have enjoyed my lesson today thank you for being there and watching this video 
Take care students. Bye-bye.